Awesome. Charlie Ray, if you come forward, please identify yourself and limit your comments to two minutes, if you could. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Charlie Ray, and I'm a writer living here in Raleigh. I support the Save Women's Sports Act as a former athlete and a woman who suffered from gender dysphoria when I was a child. Within the measurement of history, it wasn't long ago that women didn't have their own sports teams and leagues. And for in this way and many others were refused participation in their society. That is why sex segregation exists. I would like you to imagine a situation in North Carolina. There are two teams at a local university, one meant for women and one meant for men. The university switches their policy to allow men who identify as women onto the women's team. And from that moment forward, a man claiming to be a woman is legally considered the same as being one. One day you realize that every single person on either team is a biological male. But on the team meant for women, they are all males who claim to be females. The women at that university would not be able to use Title IX to claim that discrimination is taking place, as the discrimination would no longer legally exist. I would like to repeat that. The discrimination would no longer legally exist. Women would not be able to claim that they are being discriminated against on the basis of sex, which is the point of Title IX. As someone who grew up with gender dysphoria, I will tell you that I know kids need participation in sports, and I needed participation in sports as a female. And if I had competed against males, I would not have won the over dozen gold medals that I won in Taekwondo, because I would have lost. We need to pass these bills so that we can support women's right to be able to claim that discrimination is happening against them. Thank you. Thank you for your comments.